I want to introduce the climate cheetah. And this is a mythical story, but it goes like this. Some years ago, the academic fellows of the Royal Zoological Society had a meeting, and they wanted to know how fast can a cheetah run? How fast can a cheetah run? Well, they had all sorts of computer resources and so on. So they set up a whole set of modelers around the world to look at this question. And they did it by looking at the aerodynamics of a cheetah, its metabolic rate, the twitch rates of its muscles and its haunches and so on, how much it, it could change the oxygen and its respiration rate and provide energy to the system, the musculature and the, the skeletal behaviours, um, use of food, how it could actually met metabolise food into energy and output it. And a whole host of parameters like this, kidney functions, liver functions, heart functions, lung functions. And after two or three years, the different modules came back together and they did a big integration process and came up with a, we think that a cheetah could run at about 25 miles an hour, give or take a bit, perhaps between 20 and 35, but around 25 miles an hour. Now, at that meeting, it just so happened that there was a warden from one of the big game reserves in South Africa. And he said, um, I know cheetahs, we meet them regularly, and I've got a jeep with a speedometer, and I reckon I can follow a cheetah in the chase and see how fast it really does go. Oh, said the fellows, well, we're not really sure that this kind of one-off experimental data is very reliable, you know. But I suppose if you feel it's appropriate, then you could try Anyway, he went back to South Africa into his game reserve and he got in his jeep and he found a cheetah that was hunting one of these deer things, a spin box. And he tried to follow it, but the, the, the deer was dodging and the, and the cheetah was swinging its tail out and going round corners and up and down over bumps and he could not get a full reading of his speedo. Oh, I know. I have a friend in the police force in Pretoria who's on traffic duty and he's got one of these X-ray speed guns that he uses to trap speeding motorists on the highway. I wonder if he'd lend it to me. So he went back to Pretoria and met up with his old friend from the police force and he did in fact manage to borrow the radar gun. He went back out into the, uh, the reserve and he found that he could aim the radar gun at the cheetah as it was in full flight and, and, and got a good reading of its top speed. And he did it repetitively and got a good cluster of readings of top speed cheetahs going flat out in the chase. So he came back to the next meeting with the fellows of the Royal Zoological Society. He said, I've got an answer for you. We've, and he told them the story. He said, the top speed that the cheetah reaches is around 71 miles an hour. That's how fast the cheetah can go in practice. Oh, said the fellows, do you realise that's two and a half times the speed that we came out with the estimate from our computer modelling? That's why we really felt that these experimental um, observational methodologies were suspect in the first place and we would prefer that you didn't come to the next meeting. And therewith hangs a tale. Climate modellers are unable to put together all the complete complexities of the way the Earth changes over time. But we can measure the way climate has responded to changes in carbon dioxide concentration over history. In other words, we can see how fast the animal runs and it is likely to include all the feedback mechanisms, known and unknown, and all the interactions between them, because that's the way the Earth changed. We don't have to know all the detail. All we have to know is what happened in practice. So the last two and a half years, we've used five different methodologies, in fact, to measure the cheetah, to measure the speed and the rate and the extent of change of temperature in relationship to carbon dioxide concentrations of the planetary system. And that's developed a measure of what we call the whole Earth system sensitivity that, as it happens, is about two and a half times more effective and faster and deeper and stronger than has been modelled by our computer ensemble.
which underlies the Intergovernmental Panel Report and our current set of negotiations in the international community. It's a game changer. Thank you.